Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kimberly Jules here with another wig review. Now today, before we get into the unit, anytime on this channel, before I get into the unit, we have to talk about the lippy. The reason why I started doing that is because people would ask, I love lippies, so I'm always wearing different colors of lippies. And people would ask what color lippy I was wearing. So I decided, hey, why not incorporate lippies into my wig reviews or hair videos? Because I also do natural hair videos as well. So there is a history on the lippies. So the lippy I am wearing today is a NYX lingerie matte liquid lipstick in the color embellishment. So you've got this beautiful, like a nude purple type of color. Purple is my favorite color. And now into the details of this beautiful unit. I'd like to thank the wig company for sending me this unit for review. It is absolutely beautiful. Style of this wig is Rock Me. Now this is a synthetic wig. It is in an average size cap. So you can actually choose the size cap that you want, which is quite interesting because the websites that I usually purchase, or even if I purchase at my local beauty supply store, it just comes in one standard size cap. So this is in the average size cap. Um, my head is about 21 and a half. So that'll, I guess that'll kind of give you a little bit of a guide. I don't know if this one is available in other cap sizes, but if it is, I would suggest that you go up a size in cap size. Well, look at this color. This is beautiful. The color of this wig is OM433A. Four is right here at the top. 33 is here at the bottom. Love this color. This is a very pretty color. I'm so happy. Because I, I was going to get a 1B, but I was like, no, I want something more warm. More of a, you know, this is like a fall light color. So I really, really like this color. It's really pretty. It's sold exclusively by the wig company. So I will put the links to the wig, or I will put the link to the wig in the description box below. As I'm running my fingers through it, I am experiencing a little bit of tangling. I just got like a couple strands of shedding, so not too bad. You've got layers here. There is lace at the front, which was pre-cut. I will get some lace spray and then I will spray, because I don't have lace spray right now. So I would either use, you can either use your foundation or lace tint spray to tint the lace so that it will match more because you can see that line here. Or you can even cut a little bit of baby hairs and put some baby hairs in there and that will also help to conceal that lace line there. Or what I could do is maybe cut it a little more. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll cut it a little more. And then you see the parting area here as well. It's a little bit tight. You can pluck a little bit of hairs on the inside because it. If I remember correctly, I will look back when I'm editing this to see that if there's enough space to pluck a little bit of hairs just to widen that part a little bit, make it look a little more natural. I am going to put some powder in the part so you guys can see what it looks like. So just give me one moment and I will be right back. So I have my MAC Blot Press Powder here in the color dark. And don't laugh at this. So this had a handle before and it fell off. And I've just been like, you know what? I I, I couldn't be bothered to get a new one, so I just still using this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some powder in the part just to make it a little more defined. So I'm, I have a little mirror down here, so I'm gonna look in the mirror. Hopefully you guys can still see me doing this. Uh, let's see if I can move back a little bit. 
Yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys can still see that. And I'm going to put a little bit of powder here to see. Yeah, that doesn't make it any better. It makes it a little too light. So this is what it looks like on the left side. This is the right side. And this is what it looks like at the back. The length, as you can see here, is about bra strap length. I'm five foot two and a half, just for reference. Yes, the half counts. <laughs> So very pretty. It is a very light density, so that gives it a more natural look. Now, in terms of it being heat safe, I am not sure if it's heat safe because it doesn't say on the box. I will check the website to see if it is heat safe and I will come back and let you guys know. There are no combs, as you saw when I was showing the cap construction and just the adjustable straps with the Velcro, which is very interesting because the adjustable straps that I'm used to usually have like a hook type thing. So that's very neat. And the shine, it's not actually too shiny. It may come off a little shiny on camera just because of the bright lights that I have here, but it looks very natural in person. Like I, re I really love this color. So the pros of this wig would be that it is a plop on and go. I didn't really do much to it. I just put the powder in the part and that's it. Lace was already cut. So for that's a pro right there for anyone who doesn't know how to cut lace or doesn't want to mess around cutting lace and ruining your wig, it already comes pre-cut. I am on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram because anytime I do any restyling of wigs, I will put pictures there on Instagram. I don't always upload on YouTube because I, I don't upload on YouTube every day, but I do upload more frequently on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Camera Jewels. And I'm also on Twitter. I'm also on Facebook, um, Snapchat, TikTok. So all the links to those social media platforms are in the description box below. I also have it in my about section so you can check that as well. But yeah, make sure you follow. Sometimes the notifications don't work here on YouTube, unfortunately. So anytime I upload new videos, I will let you guys know on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter that I've uploaded a new video so you guys can come over and check it out. So that being said, even though still hit those notifications because they do work sometimes. Thank you so much to the wig company for sending me this wig. Please let me know what you think in the comments below about this week. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. That way, anytime I upload, you will get the notification. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Can't forget week dance, week dance, week, 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 week dance, week dance. Okay, let's pause for a second and let's explain the wig dance. <laughs> so again, some of you are new here and don't know what the wig dance is and notice that I do it in all of my wig videos. The wig dance is the dance that you do when you put on a wig and you're just like, this is just, you just, when you put on the wig and you're just loving the way it looks, you start to do a little dance. Well, at least I do. I don't know if you guys do. Let me know if you guys do a little dance sometimes. Like, look at it. Wig dance, wig dance, wig, 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 wig dance, wig dance, wig, 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 wig. There, there you go. There is the wig dance. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.